if the next 10 years at Georgia look like the last five seasons, the Bulldogs will have accomplished the most dominant run for a program in college football history. Kirby's been 56 and 9 in the SEC during his time at Georgia. 94 and 16 overall. Two national titles and has averaged 12.4 wins per year over this window. Kirby has done this in the best conference in the nation. He went toe to toe with the greatest of all time, built his program while Nick was still winning at Alabama and eventually ripped the crown right off his head with that national championship in 2021. For the record, that was Nick Saban's final opportunity to win a national championship at Alabama. This is not the same college football that I grew up with. It's not the same college football that Nick Saban built his dynasty with. If we look at Nick Saban's run from 2008 to 2023, we're looking at a 15-year span. So in that 15 years, Nick Saban won six national championships. In the last three seasons, Kirby has won two. So just do the math, average it out. Let's say that Kirby, over the next 10 years, wins two national championships in each of those five-year windows, puts him at six. The thing about... Nick Saban, is that as great as he was, there was no great big bad out there in the sport to oppose his rise with the Crimson Tide. No, Nick didn't have that mountain he had to climb year after year after year to get the job done. But Kirby Smart did. And I think that's what makes what Kirby has done so far in Athens, regardless of his head-to-head record, against Nick Saban, so much more impressive. Because while Nick had it rolling in Tuscaloosa, top recruiting class after top recruiting class, the most talented roster in the history of the sport based on composite ratings, and not just one season, but in multiple years, while that was happening, Kirby Smart was still building his team at the University of Georgia. Took them to the wire in 2017, and frankly, Alabama won that game on a miracle play. From that point forward, Nick Saban knew he had a problem in Athens with Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. And eventually, it shook out in that Kirby got that victory over Nick for a national championship in 2021. And it wasn't a one-off. They came right out the next year and steamrolled to a 15-0 record, back-to-back national championship, the first team to do it in the four-team college football playoff era. Maybe you don't want to hear what I just said, but I think what Kirby's done, when he's done it, is so much more impressive than what we've seen any of these other coaches do when they did it. How many did Nick Saban win at Alabama? Six. He may not win one. He may win seven. We can't know. Remember, I said, if the next 10 years look like the last five, this is where we're going to end up. I wonder if we wound up at that point, if that would be good enough for the people who are just to their bone, not willing to give Georgia or Kirby Smart credit for being his own man, his own coach, and building his own program. I wonder if that would be enough to make them say, yeah, that guy's pretty good. Georgia has the best program in college football. They have the best head coach in college football. They are the odds-on favorite to win the national championship this year. If the next 10 years at the University of Georgia are like the last five seasons, the Georgia Bulldogs will have gone on the greatest college football program run in the history of the sport. And frankly, I don't think it's debatable.